What is happening everyone? This time you can see we have the iPad in front of us and we talk about how you can connect the iPad to a USB flash drive, how you actually get it to work properly. Well, I have to mention to you and explain to you that it really depends on your situation. It depends on your iPad that you have at the connection or at the accessory you want to connect it with. For example, this is the iPad Pro and this one is equipped with the USB-C port. So at first I need to make sure that I have at least one side of USB-C cable. Then I also have to make sure that I know everything about the accessory I want to use it with. So let's say I want to use these, this SSD hard drive or SSD external disk, which I want to connect to the iPad. This one is also equipped with the USB-C port. So in this case, all I have to do is just to connect it using a double-sided USB-C cable. So something like this, which I can connect to the side of the, the disk as well as to the iPad. And after it's done, I'm going to open it, open up the files app and you're going to notice that it's going to show up right here. So you can see here is this. So backups. And now I can see everything inside of this flash drive. So that's an option as well. However, you might be in a situation where it doesn't work the same way or it's not that simple in case you have a flash drive, which only is equipped with the USB a, the older one, it's not going to work that way. In that case, if you have that option, what you can do is to use either USB-A to USB-C cable or use this multi-functional cables. So, by the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. For example, I have something like this. So this is a cable which you can use very easily, but it, it has multi-purpose. So you can see here is USB-C, but I can stick it on and make it USB-A. So these are cables which I find to be very practical. I can connect them easily to any type of port. If I don't want to use USB-A anymore, I can just slide it out and use USB-C right now. So that's really good. That's an option as well. On the other side, I have the same thing. I also have the USB-C, but on top of it, I have the lightning so I can slide the lightning port and connect it to my iPhone right now or to older iPad. So it's up to you to decide in case you have like more complicated situation with your USB and SSD drives, just get a cable like this, which has like multi-purpose and you can use it and slide it on easily and use it with many different ports. Or another alternative is to use some kind of adapter. So let's say I want to connect some kind of, um, you know, the SD card, which you use, for example, with cameras or whatever. In this case, I can use, for example, this adapter. You can see it has USB-C and on the other side, it has the reader for SD card. So if I bring the SD card, I can slide it inside like this and connect it to my iPad. You can see that it sticks out kind of fun in a funny way from the, from the uh, iPad. You can see that it's blinking right now and you can see it has been added in here so I can read it right through the adapter it's no longer a problem of course I can connect it easily but it, this is not the only type of adapter in case you literally have an actual old USB flash stick what you can do is to get this adapter I like for example this one and there are so many available out there on the internet it's up to you to pick the one that you like but uh, for example I like this one so this is the one which I use a lot with my Macs as well. So it has the USB-C cable on one side, which I can connect to my iPad or a Mac. And it has three old USB-A ports, SD card reader and small SD card. So yeah, it's really simple to do it that way. Right now I can just stick any kind of USB cable or any kind of USB accessory inside it and stick the other side to my Mac or to my iPad and I can connect it that way. So yeah, it's up to you to figure it out. I don't know which exact port or which situation you are currently in, but this is basically how you are going to be able to do it. So I'm going to wrap up this video right now. I hope you found it useful and informative. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later. Peace out.